It's called And We Survived. Habari. I am Saari Green. I live in Barbados. My hair is the perfect halo in, uh, for my head. I embrace the greatness within me. The hurricane made landfall very early in the morning and immediately many communities were trying to get back on their feet and return to some sense of normalcy. They worked hard for the whole day. How evidence of the disaster's impacts will likely be present in the years to come. The next day, Mr. Karani James slaughtered a big cow, lit the fire site, and said to his son, call our loved ones and neighbors to come and eat with us. Let us feast. De Grasse took to the street and started shouting, help us put out a fire at my dad's house, and continued screaming even louder, fire, fire, come help us. After moment, a small group of people came out, and the rest acted like they didn't hear the cry for help. Those who came ate and drank their bellies full. The dumbfounded father, Mr. Karani Jam, turned to his son and articulated to him, the people who came, I don't know them. I've never seen them before. So where are her loved ones, family, and colleagues? Where is the community spirit? We all pledged to unite yesterday. The son, Karani James, replied, those who came out of their, their homes came to us put out a fire in our home and not for the party. These are the ones who deserve our generosity and hospitality. Disasters are times of disruption, trauma, and even horror. But there are also moments when people should come together to help each other as equals. Unfortunately, sometimes one may have to disguise to know the real people that truly care about you. Thank you very much, Sari. Thank